Whenever you're working with water heaters, always power off the water heater or turn off the gas supply. Next, open up all the hot water fixtures in the house and run that hot water for multiple minutes in order to purge out that hot water to a safe and comfortable temperature. Remember, you have the power off now, so that water will not reheat. With all the hot water faucets still on, turn off the cold water intake. Water will stop flowing throughout the house, but leave them all on to create venting. Now you are ready to attach the sediment buster. Be sure to use a full port 5 8 inch hose to prevent blockage when you begin draining. With the hose securely on, attach the female yellow end of the sediment buster to the drain valve. Hand tighten until it is snug and make sure the black gasket seats properly. Now I want to mention this because it's important. If you have a drain valve like this, you're going to want to replace it once you've drained the tank. Now the good news is you can still use the sediment buster to drain the tank with this valve intact. But once your tank is empty, then go ahead and replace this valve with a full port valve and then continue flushing and cleaning your tank with the new valve which allows the sediment to get out. You can use any type of pump from a bicycle pump to an air compressor. Something that can easily emit repeated, quick bursts of air is best. With the sediment buster valve closed, open up the water heater drain valve. Now I'm going to demonstrate how water is slowly trickling out of this current tank. The water appears clear, but there is actually a substantial dirt and sediment clog. So I will close the sediment buster valve, emit a few bursts of air, and then I will open up the sediment buster valve to release that clog. Now I know this is hard to believe, but this tank is only about five years old, and this is how much sediment and dirt has accumulated in this tank. For the next 20 to 30 minutes, I will completely empty this tank. As I am draining the tank, I am simultaneously cleaning it. I am engaging short, repeated bursts of air that pull out sediment and water together. I will let the tank then drain for a while on its own, and then I'll repeat this process until it is empty. Once the tank is empty, you will notice that as you engage air through the sediment buster, air bubbles, come back out through the valve. So this means the tank is empty. At this point, introduce water into the tank from the cold water inlet. You will create a second point of agitation. This will push sediment to the drain valve. So go ahead then use the sediment buster to engage the new pressure to pull additional sediment out. Repeat this step several times and you will continue to pull more and more sediment out. Do this process until you see clear water. Once you are done cleaning the tank, open up the cold water intake and allow water to start refilling the water heater. Remember, your hot water valves are still open. Keep those valves open throughout your home until the tank has been completely filled. As the tank is filling, you will notice that there will be spitting and hissing and air coming through those valves. That is normal. Allow that water to continue to push through. Your tank is now full, your cold water is back on, and all you need to do now is turn the power back on and get back to hotter showers.